Hello, it's Sarah, and this may be a little a little bit of a long video, guys. I have a lot I want to share. Um, so grab a beverage. I have my iced coffee. Uh, so, have you guys seen these Somerset Studio magazines? There are a lot of different ones they have. Let me see if I can just... There's usually... They advertise their other ones in here, too. There's an art journaling journaling one, there's sewing, there's mixed media, um, they offer a lot of different, this one is the art of paper and mixed media, so I have two of those, and then I just picked this one up at uh, Joann's yesterday, this one's the art of rubber stamping, and they're 10 bucks, I mean they're not cheap, you can't really use a coupon, but I get, um, I'm going to turn the light down a little bit. You know how I've been using my, losing my mojo, right? Or I don't feel inspired or whatever. These are a great way to get inspired. I see these other people's work and it just makes me want to make something. Um, you know, you're not going to love everything in here, but you look at it and you go, oh... I have those supplies. I haven't pulled them out in a long time, you know. It also comes with free paper. I ripped the paper out. Well, there's like four sheets of paper in here. Um, it gives you access to other people's art that you might have never seen before. Uh, and then I look for them on Facebook and, and like them on Facebook. But look at this stuff. Oh, my gosh. I think she's one of my favorite artists, this lady. Let me see if it's who I think it is. Uh, yes, Linda Kane. Oh my God. If you guys haven't heard of Linda Kane before, she does a lot of work um, with assemblage and um, just amazing stuff. So I can't recommend her enough. Uh, just gorgeous work that she does and so inspirational. So I see this and it just, it, and I ha I've had this one. This one's from October. Um, and so I pulled them out again, and I was looking through them, and well, as, because I got this one too. This one with the stamping was so inspiring because of all the color palettes for backgrounds. It really made me start to see backgrounds for my art journal. Um, and then think about maybe I could carve a big flower stamp like that. You know, you don't have to buy the stamps. That's, I think that's a Dina Wakely stamp set. I just saw that today. Because I'm trying not to buy them because I still have some, uh, like I have this much rubber. I have a lot of rubber left. <laughs> so I got I have a lot of stamps I can carve before I need to really buy any stamps, you know, or, you know, I'm going to try. But yeah, so this was really inspiring me to do art journal pages. And these are cards. Um, I got a little something there. Also ATCs. I love making collage ATCs. Like, what did I write on here? Gold emboss and image and watercolor around it. So I could do that in my art journal. So, and it won't be just like theirs, you know. And maybe I would try that in my watercolor journal because I have a big watercolor journal that I haven't even used. So anyway, these are really great for inspiration. The other thing that it totally... Um, had in here and got me interested in was jewelry making and um, solder. So, all right, we're going to just fast. Oh, let me, I just wanted to show you my art journal. So in here, I actually, I tried to finish this and make it a little better. I just um, wrote words on it. Um, I got rid of this one. I just went over it with my new black gesso and rubbed a bunch of metallic rubs on it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm trying to do something in here. I added words. She loves to try new things. I added words and I shaded around her head. And I just doodled around the words. Um, I added some paper. Let's see. I did, I think I did this one after the one I did on video. This is the one that I did on video and then I did this one. And I added a lot more black and I really like that one. Cause it's just so it was so easy I just couldn't you know resist um, it took like a half you know it takes a half an hour but I, I did I thought I prepped 
a couple pages too. <clears throat> Allie gave me this really cool paper. I think it's in the front. Somewhere in the front here, right here. Oh, where the heck did it go? I put some tissue paper down on one of these pages. Here it now. Here it is. Here it is. So it was right here. So this is just a bunch of words, but it's actually tissue paper like you would put in a package that you wrap like a shirt around and stuff. And it just has all these cool words. She was brave and lovely and happy and kind. So I just thought that could start a kind of a shabby chic page. I don't know. I just, I, so I'm definitely in here, guys. I'm trying, but I might not film everything I do, but when I have something I feel like a good technique, I definitely will share it. But guess what? I found something else I really want to try. So I w it's been nice here too for like the last two days. It's been like, today's like in the 60s. Um, so I went out, I went to Hobby Lobby today and I got just a few things because I have done stained glass before. Okay, my husband and I took a workshop together and it was in Wall Township, which is it's a, it's a little bit of a ways away. So, anywho, we both went to a couple of their workshops, and then I gradually was able to do it myself at home. Um, so I have stained glass all around my house. I have lots of it, uh, little like hanging ones that you can hang in your window to big ones. Um, I made a couple of household items. I just wanted to share since I'm playing around with this stuff. So this is a little bit more advanced, but I made both of these. I'll sh so these are taken from patterns, right? So basically the bird was the pattern, but then I just, and I don't even remember the name of the stuff anymore that you use for it. Um, cane, it's cane, I think. Maybe it's called cane. These metal pieces that you can put on the edge and then solder the, the glass up to it, right? And then I add my jump ring. So I know how to do it. I've done stained glass before. This was, and in the summer, these hang on my front porch. So in between, I think I've showed them before in a video, but like in between the posts. So I have posts that go down. They hang like on both sides of the posts. So there would be a post in the middle here and they hang like that. So, and then I bring them in. These two hang in a doorway. I have little hooks in the, it, it was a doorway that doesn't have trim around it or anything. So I just hang these and um, I love them. I love them. Now, I like, st I love stained glass. Don't get me wrong, but I'm danger girl. You guys know, like I, Joe calls me danger girl because I'm very rough with everything and I got cut a lot. I mean, and then I did glass mosaics. I, I don't know if I've shared, in my house tour, I did share some frames, big frames that I did. Um, and I've done mosaics. I've shared my snowmans over there on the wall. And like, I, I cut like my knuckle off one time. Like, I mean, I'm not a baby about it or anything, but it's it's a pain. It's, it's hard work. Like it's not, I can't take it. It's very messy. You get glass everywhere, like little shards. So I have to do it in the basement. And, you know, so I wanted to find things to do up here at my desk. Um, what else did I, did I want to show you? Um, but I went down the basement today to find my supplies, my tools, because I wanted to see what I had because I'm going to try and do jewelry now. Now, I've never done jewelry but there's a couple of very cool uh, videos. Um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter does a couple good ones. Um, but like, see, I love bevels. Like, see the bevels? What are they called? I don't know what they're called. It's a bevel, like a piece of glass that has a bevel in it. And this is like a teal uh, candle holder with like a mirror in the bottom. And this one's purple. It kind of looks teal too, but it's in my eye I see purple and pink so I made those I made this card holder um, it's like a uh, business card holder it has a little tulip so I made that there was also a shop hey I see cracks down there oh my goodness I wonder if this got dropped I don't remember dropping it but there's definitely cracks underneath here um, 
I did end up finding a shop a little closer down south, and I don't know if they're still open, but um, he helped me figure out how to put a hinge on because I ended up making this, this little uh, rainbow box. So you have to put a hinge on it just using wire. You solder, you bend the wire and you solder it down the side and then you make, I don't remember how to do it. Um, so we're going to have to figure it out because my husband made a box that he never finished the hinge. And it's been, I pulled everything out like old stuff I want to show you. So, but I love this and I keep little, I guess I would burn them. This is shrinky dinks. There's shrinky dinks in here. Just little random stuff. I don't know. This is washi because um, when I send my mail out, I like to washi the bags closed. But I love it. It sits on my desk. And I have another one of them right here. And I actually, I'm only pulling this out because uh, I want to see what's in it. Because I think this might have been one of the first ones I did because you can tell this is, it's not, well, you can't tell from that angle, but see, that's a, one of those bevels, because I love the bevels. Now, there's my Santa pin, but these, I was going to see if these were too thick to make into jewelry. No, I think I could do it. I think I might do a couple of these when I'm practicing, since I've already done them, because what you need is, uh, they're so pretty, because... What is her name? She's Ch Angela. I know your name is Angela. Ange. She um, she uses a torch when she solders too, but um, uh, I don't know. I, I I lost my train of thought. Oh oh oh. She was using alcohol inks on uh, vellum, and I want to use alcohol inks. So today I went to. Um, Oh, I want to show you this. Look, I found this box, and look, there's ornaments in here. I totally forgot about them. I completely forgot I had them or that I ever made them. And they have beads on their little arms and beads on their um, halos. So I have that, these little tiny ones. I have a bunch of them. I have like one, two, three, four little ones, five. I have a bell. A little ornament bell, another big angel in yellow, two snowmen. I don't like their eyes drawn on there, but a couple of snowmen ornaments. And I mean, these were just sitting in a box down there. I totally forgot about them. Super cute. And another bell. So there's a lot you can do and you know because I I like I say I like to make things that are useful now when I did stained glass at, around the time I was doing this stuff I did take them to my craft show and I sold like pretty much everything um, I had a couple pieces like American flags oh my gosh if you make an American flag out of stained glass you will sell it <laughs> um, you know and they're pretty easy because it's straight lines uh, all right, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, so I went to Hobby Lobby. This is so dusty. I'm probably going to start sneezing. Ugh, ugh. And, um, oof, dusty. So this is what I had, though. I went and I looked in the basement for the supplies that I had. I have a bunch of jump rings, nice sturdy ones for $2.49, which is so good. I got them at the, um the stained glass store. I had these great tools because, you know, you need to hold your jump ring and solder at the same time. And I don't know what I use these for. I could probably put these in my good drawer. They're not like oxidized. See, these got oxidized and stuff. Because when you solder, you need to use flux, which is, um, these are both no odor, definitely. But for stained glass, you need a little, um, you have to put this on. It makes it, uh, it makes the solder stick to the metal. And I have these two copper foils. And you have to, this is what you actually use to, and they're both the same width. Damn it. Because, I, I mean, I think it'll fit on here. 
but it, it won't wrap around the edge. It, it'll be, um, I'll show you, don't worry. Don't, I'm going to use this. I'm going to practice on this. I ended up, I have 60 40, 40 solder, but this is 60%, uh, I'm sorry, 40% lead. 60% tin, 40% lead. And so for making products like this or pieces like this, it's okay because you don't, I mean, you don't handle it too much, you know. But for a piece of jewelry, I don't know, I, they suggest um, le um, lead free. So I, and I have this tinned copper wire because you can make your own jump rings, which I'm definitely going to play with because I want to make like a, a, um, a spirally one or a, flor a flourishy one. So I'm going to play with that. And I have this actually as a, a little um, a tool that you use to get the tape to stick on. You could just use your, um, not that would just remind me of a brayer. You could use your bone folder, you know. And this is just what I use to put the flux in, but I bought this today to put the flux in. I just thought this was so cute. And I think my brush, see for this, my brush would stand in here. Like if I got a brush, like say I'm using this to use, put the flux on, I could just put the brush in there and it won't, it just saves it from being a mess. This, you know, I could, I'd have, I can't, I have to lay it down. Um, so, I have a lot on my mind. Uh, <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby. Yes, so I had these, and I will use these before I buy anything else. I just hope it works. I mean, this one's not even opened, but I mean, I hope hope it didn't get moldy or anything. I don't even think this one's open yet. So they're both brand new. So I, and I had enough flux. Like this is probably down to here, but I mean, for the couple pieces of jewelry I'm gonna do, it won't be a biggie. This wire. So I did find. This was $30. This stuff is not cheap. Um, and I used, let me think. Yes, I used my 40% off coupon on this because um, I was going to get a soldering iron. Now, when I went down there, our soldering iron was shot. The one that I used for my classes that I took with Joe. Um, it, uh... It was all oxidized and like it was just a mess. I didn't. Joe said he, I think Joe used it for electrical stuff and it got messed up. And then he had other ones since then. So I just wanted to. I rebought another soldering iron. Um, I ended up getting the Versatool, but I came back home and went to our Michaels and got it because I wanted to use a coupon too. Because this is like twenty nine dollars. Now, this is the first tool I got when I wanted to do wood burning, and I broke it because I, I stripped the, um, the mechanism inside the tool that you can switch your um, tips out with. So I, I ended up not getting this one after I broke it and I, I got the cheaper one, which doesn't solder. This one solders, this one did everything, but the one I got just was for like wood burning and stuff. So then when I ended up Never mind. So long story short, I had to re-get this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, maybe it's the coffee. Uh, this is you can you can solder with it. So they had a solder tool there as well. That was thirty nine ninety nine. This was twenty nine ninety nine, and it's basically the same thing. It has. Uh, a temperature gauge which you can you know turn the heat up and down it had all this extra stuff it even comes with a lead free solder right here a little bit of lead free solder so I could have just gotten this without getting this whole big thing but um, I figured I'd just have it because I don't think it goes bad I mean look I've had this forever so what it's still good um, so yeah so got the new soldering iron so I am going to be playing with this and this is what I wanted to do so this is what I saw and there were a couple other videos that I saw too of people using these little glass microscope slides and I only got a 10 pack here I saw them on Amazon and there were like I could have gotten 50 for pretty cheap but this was five bucks for 10 so I just wanted to play and because I have glass downstairs. I have tons of glass, like this thickness, you know, like, uh, what could I hold up that's near, like, I don't know, like normal thickness of glass. These actually might be a little thinner. I'm not sure. I want to look at these. But what I thought was so cool was 
I think her name is Angela. She was using alcohol ink on, and I said it wasn't actually one of these. It was just um, like a vellum or something to like make it cool looking and stuff. And so, yeah, these are very thin. So what I might do is put paper. Oh, why does it have white there? So you can write on it. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh well, it's fine. I'm gonna just play around. Maybe I'll cut this because I have all the tools. I can cut it. I think that's like so you can write on it or something. Let me see what it says. It doesn't say anything. And then this is cover glass because usually when you do a like a specimen on a microscope, see me now. These are super thin. You would put your little thing down, and then you cover it. I guess right. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Um, so that stinks. Why did they put that on there? Because this was in the kids department at, um, Hobby Lobby. And, uh, I think I'll just order them. I gotta make sure that they're all white, though. That they're, I mean, that they're clear. Let's see what this says. Anywho, I'll read it off camera. But that's why I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna try these because... I have more stuff I want to show you too, but um, I found two pairs of scissors down there because this is a quarter, let's see, is this a quarter inch? 732s. <laughs> I don't know if that's a quarter inch. They're both 732s, whatever, 730 seconds of but I'm pretty sure it'll go on there and it'll just barely, but then when I put solder on it, it'll look cool. I'm gonna try it. They're a little thick, but then I think I'm probably gonna go down and find, like see like this peace sign. This is just a regular tile. Um, I'm gonna go, I'll cut some, see look, then I also bought these. These are one inch mirror tiles. And I was thinking I could leave the mirror on one side and so for the pendant and then glue something on here, right? See, that's the thing. You do kind of need to cover it with glass because I'll burn it. I'm not sure. I won't burn it. Um, but this is much thinner. So this, it will actually fold up on both sides. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I'll use this. Who knows? I'm going to figure something out. I got to figure stuff out. Uh, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Let me put this back. And I'll read and see. Maybe that comes off that, uh, that white part. That wasn't in there. Um, I got these little connectors. These are flower shaped connectors because I was thinking when you make a piece of jewelry, I could solder this and this doesn't even feel metal. 10 millimeter. It must be. It's just very light. But I thought I could use it for um, on the bottom especially to hold a little charm because I think I'd be able to solder that onto the top of it like so part of it is actually on the charm and part hangs off we'll see and then I got that's it that's all I got for to do this this jewelry and I'm not sure if I'm gonna I want to make myself a bracelet so I might go down and cut some jewel I'm sorry some pieces of tile or glass that are small and I'm just going to use the clear glass and make links and then probably use a toggle. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I also got at Hobby Lobby, these are $1.99 handles. These four, four antique bras plated, bronze plated handles and this is right on the same um, section that I got the Versatool. So right with these because I think it was for a bunch of um, 
like wood type stuff, but the uh, what's the brand spare parts ones were more there were fewer there were only three and they were more expensive even though they were on sale today but look I got these glasses because I use these for my uh, my art doll class see look I use the one of those handles on here to make it look like a luggage um, trunk but look at these glasses they fit her I might glue them on I I just think come on they are too perfect like they're perfect I just think they're perfect so anyway um, I picked them up because they're super cute I love looking at Hobby Lobby spare parts because they have a lot of the same stuff that um, Ranger has or the Tim Holtz stuff have um, and they're you know they're a little bit cheaper definitely um, lot, and spare parts goes on sale a ton so uh, I always look at their spare parts to see what they have so what else did I want to tell you I did get these at Michael's because like I said I went and got the soldering iron at Michael's so I could use my 40% off coupon since at Hobby Lobby they won't let you you know you can't finagle it and everything's done by hand but um I got these $1.99 and I thought the Rudolph one was just too cute I think I'm gonna I can stamp these onto ornaments next Christmas and wood burn them and this one was just so cute too for $1.99 it's a summer themed Christmas set with like uh, swim trunks that have Christmas trees a little stick Christmas tree with like seashells as ornaments you know a flamingo with a scarf and hat it's just super cute this little penguins like at a Hawaiian luau or something and it says warmest wishes happy holidays I just thought it was super cute there was a couple other ones I just I don't go crazy because I won't use it and I'm I'm not trying to buy stuff I mean yeah I went out today and I did buy a few things I spent a few bucks but I needed that so that I could play and see if I'm gonna be able to do this so I'm gonna use this this little tool I'm gonna be able to hold the piece and then solder hold the jump ring and solder hopefully I'll hold the jump ring like this because this one doesn't have a thingy my husband probably knows where it is I don't know I think the other clip fell out so I'm gonna play and I won't film it unless um, I get efficient and then I can just show you without like fudging it up a million times I don't want to just film it to fudge it so all right you guys I'll leave you with this let's put this in front of me stained glass awesome if you guys have a shop near you that offers it you should take it it's super fun I mean yeah it, it costs you a little bit you have to buy some supplies it's not the cheapest hobby but I mean my whole house like I have a very I would say like French country house I have if you've seen my tour it's very bright color and I just love it and um, that's what matters in life you know get yourself stuff that makes you happy. All right. Thanks for watching.